Hi, I'm Shikha. You're watching this video from JustTutors.com. So today we are going to learn about square root and different method. So in this video we are going to learn how we can find square root by division method. So here there is a warm up for you. What you can do just pause the video, try these two questions. Assuming that you have done them, now we can discuss the answer. So here we need to find the square root of 625 by division method. So since this method I'm going to teach you in this video. So here, here I'm going to give you the answer which is 25. As 25 times 25 will give you 625. And here again we need to find the square root of 121 by division method. So the answer here is 11. As 11 times 11 will give you 121. So now let's move further and learn something about this method. So why we are learning about division method? Since those number which we have discussed now are smaller number. So for larger number you don't know the square of all the numbers. So therefore this method is going to help you to find the square root of all the numbers. So here we need to find square root of 361 by division method. So with this example let's try these steps. So first of all starting from the unit place and move to the left. Like Start from this place and move to the left. So group two digit at a time like they have done 61 and you need to place a bar over this pair of digit which forms a group and the left one here is the another group. So I can see there are two groups. After this begin the division process from the highest place value that is 3 here which is at 100th place. Then the larger square less than or equal to the first group that is 3. So this is first group. We need to think of a larger square which is less than or equal to this number that is 1 and the square root of 1 is 1 itself. So as the divisor and quotient you need to write 1 as I will show you here above this one as a divisor and as a quotient. So 1 times 1 will give you 1. If you will take away this 1 from 3 you will get 2 here. Then you need to bring this another pair down together. So it will become 261. So now you need to double the quotient. So quotient here is 1. Just double it. It will become 2 here. So you need to enter this into the divisor column like this one. After this you need to leave a space here just next to it and we need to find this number now. So after this process it's here. So for the next digit in the quotient let's suppose it be A. So we need to think of a number in such a way that 2A times A will give you 261. So now in 261 this one is at unit place. So the unit place is 1 so it can be either 1 or 9 because 1 times 1 is 1 and 9 times 9 is 81 and there is 1 at the unit place. So you can try both of them in this manner for A and here you can see that with A is equal to 9 you will get the answer. So then you need to write 9 here and here and you will get the answer. So here the answer is 19 because there will be no remainder left here for 19. So we can see that square root of the number 361 is 19. So in this manner you can find the square root of the largest number. So here now let's try a practice question. So here again we need to find the square root by the division method. So let's try this one. So here first we are going to place this number 5776. After this from the extreme right we need to group them. Just make two bars here and here. Now think of a number like it's 7 because 7 times will give 7 times 7 will give me 49 which is less than 57. So it will be 49. Now here the remainder will be 8. So after this bring these two digits down here. So it will be 876. So you need to double this. So 7 times 2 will give you 14. Now think of this number. So since 6 is there we can think of 4 or 6. By applying both of them I can see that 6 will be the right answer 
and I will write here so the answer for this will be 76 in this manner just pause the video try rest of them I hope you have done them so you can check your answer from this slide so if you got them correctly that's amazing you you're learning very well this method so thank you for watching the video for more please visit justtutors.com